Next, let's talk about writing an equation, an exponential equation given a graph. So again, we know y equals a times b to the x is our general exponential growth or decay formula. Now, just glancing at the graph, we know it's exponential growth because as we go from left to right, the x values are going up and so are the y values. So our a value is our initial value, which is when x is equal to 0. Well, when x is equal to 0, it looks like y is equal to 4. So that's why our a value or the initial value is 4. Now our b value is the common rate or what we multiply by from one value to the next. So as you go from 0 equals, sorry, x equals 0 to x equals 1, right, a jump of 1 for x, what happens with the y values? Well, it goes from 4 to 8, which is a rate of times 2. So that means our b value is going to be 2, right? That's what we're multiplying by for the y values each time we increase one x value. So putting it all together, y equals 4 times 2 to the x would be the equation that represents this particular graph. Okay, let's try one more. So again, we have growth because it's going up. Now if you realize, this one's shooting up at a pretty rapid pace, and we'll see why in a sec. So again, start with your general formula. Our a value, the initial value, looks to be 3. Because that's when x is equal to 0. That's our starting point when x is 0. So y equals 3 times b to the x. Now b, if we look at, so we go from 0 to 1 for x, what happens with the y's during that change? Well, it goes from 3 to 12 which is an increase of 9, but what happens from 3 to 12 as far as what you're multiplying by? Well, it would be times 4. So that's what our b value or growth factor would be. So y equals 3 times 4 to the x. Now, again, the reason that it's shooting up very quickly is because this 4 is a pretty big number if you think about what that 4 represents. It means that as you're increasing x by 1, you're multiplying the y value by 4. So it goes from 3 to 12, and then the next thing would be times 4, so 48. So it's going up very quickly, and then 48 times 4, as you can see, those numbers get very big very quickly. And that's kind of, again, the power of exponential growth.